teeth got pulled, but I can't remember, I think I mentioned this, but because her liver levels were previously elevated before she was on like a liver detox medication, um, they wanted to give it four weeks to see if her liver levels have raised back up, like if she needs to be back on the medication type of thing. So that needed to be at four weeks and it's pretty far away from our house. So they just decided to book it in one appointment. So that's what we're doing this morning. I went on a hot girl walk, Layla and I went on a walk and now we're in the car and we're going to the vet. All right, Miss Way was, let's check that liver, huh? This is always the most stressful part, getting her out of the car because she has like mobility issues. She has bad legs, but she's a hundred pounds. So uh, this is always interesting. Good job. <sighs> okay, be back in a bit. <laughs> Why don't you lay down? You hiding? That feels safer. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, how do I scale this wall and get out of here? <laughs> Anyways, it's okay. One hour later. Well, besties, I'm laughing so I don't cry um, because, yeah. I would say you're not gonna believe this, but um, it's my life, so you probably will believe this. But I just left the vet. Everything so far, like all the preliminary blood work is good, so it looks good. She's doing well with that. The only thing is that um, the vet came in and had a bunch of x-rays pulled up on her computer, and they were her teeth x-rays, because keep in mind, this was like a follow-up appointment for her teeth. And the vet explained, I'm gonna give like a quick backstory. I don't want this to be too long, but like, I'm sorry, this is just what's going on in my life currently. But um, when she got her original teeth surgery, the reason that she got her teeth pulled was because she had a tooth right here, like one of her back molars that didn't look good. It looked like it was like rotten. Also, she had a couple bottom incisors that like weren't look, they were wonky and needed to come out. And then she wanted to get her top incisors pulled because her top incisors, because of her underbite, are jabbing underneath where her tongue is. There's like holes there. So when we got the surgery done, uh, if you remember, I started panicking because we got Layla home and all of her top incisors were still there and all of her bottom incisors had been pulled. And I was just like, well, that wasn't the plan. So I was freaking out. I vlogged about it. I got on the phone with the vet. I was like, what's going on? And I didn't mention this in the vlog because I was kind of afraid that people thought I was like, I don't know. I'm that's a whole other topic. I'm like always afraid that I'm in the wrong and people are gonna be like, Carrie, you know, you sh you're being a Karen or whatever. But when I was on the phone with the vet, I was like, hi, I'm calling because I'm really confused because the plan was she was gonna get this tooth, all of these teeth and two of these teeth. And I got her home and she has all of her top teeth, but now all of her bottom teeth are gone. Like I'm confused, blah, blah, blah. And the vet was really like interruptive and defensive and quite dismissive of me when I called. And by the end of the phone conversation, we did get on the same page and she kind of explained that like, sometimes when you get in there, things turn out differently than you expected. So I was like, totally fine. I was just very confused because what ended up happening was totally like, totally different from the plan and I mentioned on the phone call I'm just confused because her top incisors still jab into the bottom of her her mouth so what's up and basically the vet was like no I wasn't worried about that when I got in there and I was just kind of like well that was one of the main reasons why she was having this surgery in the first place but sure okay so okay then I you know flash forward to today she's all healed up all of her bottom incisors have been gone for a while and when we got into the room she had x-rays pulled up on her laptop like I mentioned and she was like so the top incisors need to come out and I was like pardon she was like yeah here's the x-ray she showed me like the roots and how the roots look good but that oh well I've noticed that they're jabbing into the bottom of her and I was just like, yeah, that was um, the original plan. Like that was why, that was why we wanted to do this in the first place. And she was like, yeah, I'd be, I would do it free of charge. Um, <sighs> she was like, I feel bad because now I, I, we need to go back in there and do it again.
Well, hello, it's actually the next day. Um, my camera died while I was in the car, which is honestly probably a good thing because I surprisingly have been very calm about this whole situation, but I was just like ranting. But anyways, um, not sure exactly where I left off with the story, but yeah, the vet told me that she wanted to do the surgery again. And I was like, yeah, she kind of barely survived the last one. So like, that's not likely to happen. And <sighs> I'm just so sad. I'm so sad for Layla and you know when I initially in that vlog a couple of weeks ago or like a month ago was like panicking and spiraling it was because I thought that the vet had made a mistake and she did. <laughs> um, so that's you know people are human and they mess things up but this is like I had a feeling I just had a feeling in my gut and I just feel kind of bummed because I'm just gonna give it some time I need to wait until tomorrow to get like her full blood work back so then we'll see like how I feel about that and I don't even know it's like this poor dog <laughs> She can't catch a break. And like it was supposed to be this one surgery and then she was gonna be done and then she was gonna be happy and not have to worry about it anymore. And now you mean to tell me she has to do it again because of your error? I'm sorry, like people are gonna disagree with me. I'm sure there are gonna be vet techs, you know, that, that come for me in the comments, but I'm allowed to be upset. I'm allowed to be upset about this. I'm allowed to be pissed off. I'm allowed to feel disappointed that I paid, you know, thousands of dollars for this procedure to have it not even be done correctly. And more than the money, just that my dog went through such a hard time. I mean, I was sobbing. I was sobbing. I was laying on the floor with her for days. I slept downstairs on a mattress, like in the living room for like three nights. Anyways, I'm just trying not to let it bother me too much. But actually the more I talk about it, the more upset I get about it but I have maintained like a very calm level head and I'm sure there are people that are gonna be like you should have said this and that I literally was just in shock like in my gut I knew that this was what was gonna happen so anyways I don't really want to go back to that vet to be honest which sucks because everybody that I know who has taken their animals there has had like a great experience but Mine has been kind of lackluster. Anyway, all that aside, I am doing my hair right now. I need to film a video. I'm wearing one of my cute new thrifted tops that I got when I went thrifting with Alexa. It was like one of my best thrifting trips ever. And I've just been trying to wear all this stuff. I'm feeling very Y2K with my hair today and I'm not mad about it. But yeah, I'm trying to maintain a sense of composure. This was not how I saw this vlog going. I thought it was gonna be like a quick and easy checkup and well, it's my life, so I should have known that that was not gonna be the case. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Wish me luck and I will see you on the other side. Oh, P.S. when I was filming the last vlog, my reset vlog where I was watering my plants, I actually watered, I don't know if you can see it, but this big plant right here, this bad boy sitting on the couch and um, it came out from its wall hook thingy, like from the ceiling. Um, and it was anchored, so that was terrifying. <laughs> so it's currently sitting on the couch until I can find a new spot for it. Oh, and don't mind the dust buster because I just had to clean up all of the dirt. Success, just finished the video. I'm gonna head downstairs and make some lunch and I'm gonna try a TikTok snack. Well, I shouldn't say try. I'm gonna show you a TikTok snack that I've been eating this week. But first, we gotta make some lunch. I'm probably just gonna make my regular salad because I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> Oh, P.S. I'm wearing my new little tank top. It's actually kind of the color of my skin right now, but um, it's from Free People. It's like a tank top slash bra, so there's no like built-in bra or anything. It's just this, but it's so comfortable. And I've seen a few people that I follow on Instagram talking about Free People recently and how like even plus size people who are like a 3X and 4X are wearing like a size extra large in Free People. This was one of my little findings and I kind of love it. And I'm just gonna like wear it with pajama pants for the rest of the day after I change. So I will link it down below, but let's see what we have for lunch today. I don't know if I have enough spring mix to make a salad, but we'll try. I do not have enough. Okay, let's think on our feet here. Oh, I do have some kale. Maybe I'll just like mix it all together. Sure, why not? Here's the tea. I need a bigger bowl. I've shown this salad a million times. You have spring mix slash a little bit of kale. Get lots of good greens in there, because why not? Then 
we are going to do all the crispy bits. If you've seen this a million times, I do sincerely apologize. We're gonna do some hemp seeds. We are going to do some raisins. Raisins are a must. Pistachios, the superior nut at the moment for me. I'm usually a cashews girl, but I'm in a pistachio phase right now. Some crispy onions, because we gotta get it supremely crunchy, even though these smell like absolute ass to me right now because of my parosmia, which is a shame. And then Parmesan crisps. We already talked about this, but I just use these as croutons on my salad and they're so good. I'm also going to heat up some of like the Morningstar Farms um, veggie or chicken nugget thingies. I have a bunch of different ones that I use, but these are easy because they're pre-cooked and like I can just microwave them. Okay. I could air fry them, but I don't have the patience to sit down here for 15 minutes. Like I'm trying to go a minute and then done. I'm just gonna put a few of these on the plate and put them in the microwave. Sue me. But the TikTok snack that I saw was raspberries and chocolate chips in the middle of them. And I don't have that many left. And actually I only have like <laughs> very few chocolate chips. So we'll work with what we have here. But basically you take a raspberry and then you stick a chocolate chip inside of it. That's literally it. And it's so freaking good. I don't even really love raspberries that much. Like they're good, but it just really does something for me. It's just such like a cute little snack to eat at the end of my meal. <laughs> I get like excited for it. Clearly because I've eaten almost this entire carton of raspberries. Like look at how cute these are. Freaking adorable. Okay, let's get my chicky nuggies going. These are vegan, by the way, but I just like cut them into little pieces. And then there they go. Fascinating stuff here. Aren't you so glad you clicked on this video? Sometimes I'm like, should I stop vlogging? <laughs> like, in general. Today I am having my typical Annie's goddess dressing. They also sell it at Trader Joe's. Not the Annie's brand, but like an exact dupe. And it's very delicious. I'm gonna have a couple bites of watermelon because why not? And then of course you have to complete it with a spicy water. This is LaCroix. What flavor is this? Berry. Very delicious. Highly recommend. Okay. I'm gonna go eat this. I'm gonna have like a couple bites of this because I eat it all day long. I'm gonna have a lunch break with Drew and then we will reconvene. Hello, it's actually a few days later. I am in my pajamas, <laughs> my dog shirt, which is my favorite shirt of all time, but I just realized that I never ended this vlog. So thank you so much for being here, for hanging out with me while I do my usual everyday boring routine, making my favorite salad that you've watched me make a million times. And just thanks for supporting me, even when I feel down about the vlogs that I make and just wondering if like it's even got a point to it. But I just love connecting with you all and sharing my life and hanging out and I love watching vlogs. I love watching people live their kind of everyday life routine and have nothing exciting going on. So I hope that you feel the same way. And it's been a crazy week. Um, we will talk about it in the next vlog, but life is gonna start getting pretty crazy, besties. <laughs> oh, and here comes Moo, just right on time. Everybody loves seeing you. Anyway, Moo and I are gonna go hang out. So thanks for being here and we'll see you in the next vlog. Exciting stuff. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Aww.